Richard Southern joins us now for the day's business news. And Richard, Skip the Dishes is expanding as our habits continue to change during the pandemic. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're using these these food delivery apps more than ever, uh, so much so that uh, they're looking for ways, Erica, to make the business run smoother, perhaps ways to fatten their margins. What Skip the Dishes is doing, which, by the way, is uh, the largest food delivery app in Canada, they're, they're opening some of their own stores. They're called dark stores, and they're called that because you and I can't walk in. These are stores made just for delivery guys. So, you know, uh, you can order uh, from convenience stores and from grocery stores on skip what they're going to do now is they're they're going to source the delivery drivers those goods from their own store so they're going to buy their own inventory things like eggs and milk and other pantry staples and snacks that's going to allow for not only a faster delivery but again could allow for a fatter margin from skip uh, for Skip, DoorDash doing some similar things. So it's really interesting, Erica, as these food delivery apps mature, how they're taking more control of their own business, not relying as much on third parties anymore. Yeah, definitely. And another delivery giant is seeing its stock surge this week as well, Richard. Uber uh, getting mm -hmm. back to where it was pre-pandemic, according to its CEO, Erica. Uh, he said that the ride-sharing company had its best week ever in terms of gross bookings last week. Now, gross bookings, that refers to the company's combined bookings for both its ride-sharing and its food delivery business. But the CEO says the ride-sharing doing quite well. Of course, Uber's done well with its food delivery throughout the pandemic. Uh, the company says it's back now to about 90% of where it was pre-pandemic. Uh, in its most recent earnings report, Uber said it did 1.64 billion trips over the past three months. So people are using the service again. People are traveling a bit more with restrictions easing. But, of course, with Omicron coming along, we'll have to see if that changes the future, at least uh, in the near term, for Uber, Eric. All right, and finally, one airline is looking to take a greener approach to traveling across the blue skies. Yeah, I mean, look, it's not a, it's not a very, it's a carbon intensive thing to fly, mm -hmm. right, Eric? It's a dirty thing in many ways, right? Certainly uh, the airlines are actually listing how much, uh, you know, carbon you're spewing out with your ticket. United wants to do something about this. United Airlines said today it's buying 100 hydrogen electric engines electric engines and it's going to be putting it on its existing planes like we're looking at here some of its regional uh, aircraft and united said this is the most promising way to move towards zero emission air travel that's what airlines want to do right now the world wildlife fund says air travel is the most carbon intensive uh, activity an individual can make so perhaps as we start moving towards electric flying it'll help mitigate that error all right business editor richard southern thanks richard Sarah